Raid Review. Lads, welcome back to the next episode of Raid Review. Today, we're going to be having a look at a labs raid where your boy, Mr. Spoolin' By You, goes in with a fairly uh, budget loadout and apparently ends up coming across some serious juice. He has titled the video Aggressive Crouch Walking. So, not entirely sure what that means, but I guess we're going to find out. So, let's crack right into the right. As I said, it is on labs. He's using an M1A. Not entirely sure what the rest of his gear is, but I'm sure we shall find out. Since he opens his old cheeky inventory, we can take a peek at it. So let's boogie. Alrighty. So, first of all, this is the start of the raid. We're moving out into the open here. In the, uh, where the dome is, like where all the Ledex spawns are. Um, this is a very, very spooky area to be in at the very start of a raid because there are a billion spawns all around you. Um, all the corridors all around you, there's spawns everywhere. People can very quickly get out here, have the high ground on you, be looking at you while you're kind of maneuvering around down here. So that would be one thing to keep in mind. Turn this up a little bit just before I forget. Okay, taking it nice and slow. We can hear contact. Sounds like multiple people strolling a boot. Okay, you seem fairly convinced that they may be inside in that room. So exposed where you're sitting, but... Okay, we spot one, we spot two. Oh, so much... <laughs> so much, uh, so much patience there to wait for the... Make sure to see where the second guy was before you took shots on the first guy. Good call. Uh... Unlucky you missed the headshot on the first guy, or the, sorry, the guy who came out afterwards, but you know, shit happens. Oh, lots of shots to your right. Also, footsteps behind you, too. That is I probably somebody... Guy first. That's probably somebody rushing medbay, potentially. Probably should have killed Alton guy first. Yeah, I mean, you know, shit happens, man. No okay, big deal. Half a mag left. Okay, keeping track yeah, of how much ammo you have. And a nade. nade. Alright. I like this. Being aware of your equipment. It's always a good call. I've seen people die recently, many a time on stream. By not paying attention to how much ammo they have left. Or by counting their uh, bullets. Which is a lot easier to do in an M1A than it is in an M4. So, again, your surroundings here. You could be shot from so many different places, it's not even funny. But you're quite focused on these two boys, so... Fair enough, let's see how this plays out. You're actually kind of lucky you haven't been shot from anywhere else yet. This is such a highly contested area. Especially at the start of a run, because of the Ledex spawns. And all the other rare shit that spawns around here too. Alright, creeping up on where- I didn't know you could close that door. I also didn't know you could jump up here. Wow, okay. <laughs> Teach me daddy, what the fuck? Alright. Wow, I'm actually- that's actually crazy. I never even thought about jumping up here. Dude, I- Oh. Okay. Obviously not the most ideal place you want to be at the start of the race. It's going to expose you quite a bit. I don't know what that guy with the Alton was thinking. That was... He even edited out the blee of the swear words. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, dude. Um... Yeah. Mm, I don't know why that guy pushed you the way he did. He just had to be a little bit more patient. Okay. You do have a bleed in your stomach, but... Oh, bro, that's such a shame. Oh, that's such a shame. I love how I was just complimenting him on keeping track of his ammo, and then he clicks on the dude's head. <laughs> dude, that's so typical, eh? Holy shit. All right, well, you realize that, you know... You must move now, which is a good call. Good thing you didn't sit where you were and reload because you probably would have been dead. So we're treating off into the uh, the little budget med bay here. I'm assuming you're going to fix the bleed on your stomach and obviously reload a mag, so... Or swap mags. No? Do you not have a spare mag with you? That sucks, dude. I just clicked on his oh. head. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, the magnitude of the situation has now been revealed. He has no gear at all. Okay. 
Okay. You didn't grab the TV-10, though, did you? Did you grab the TV-10? No. I'm gonna fix that bleed in your stomach, man. Does he even realize he has a bleed? Yeah, he does. Okay, cool. Go, go, go. Be ashamed to get a blacked out stomach at this point. Bro. <laughs> uh, right here, you should drop your bag. Save you fumbling around with it when you go to loot that other guy. You don't need the rest of his gear. I was going to say, don't loot him until, uh, until you have that other guy dealt with. Give me a grenade. <laughs> Taking all the meds, that's fair. You do need them. You are very low on meds. Why would you bring that much sniper ammo to labs? Nutcase. I guess if you're killing raiders, but... Okay, preemptively popping a painkiller. Good idea. I wonder if that guy's still holding up there. He probably is. He probably sees the bodies and he knows you're going to want to loot them. So you need to think, like, where is he going to be at? You haven't heard him. The odds are he's still sitting in the same place, just waiting to hear looting sounds before he uh, peeks over. I like how you had to loot that guy. You grabbed it quickly and moved away. But you haven't gotten greedy to go back and grab the rest of the loot yet. Because you know this dude's still around. Gotcha, bitch! Oh. Jesus Christ, that sound effect. Oh, you killed him with the nade! My man! What? No way, dude. Look at this guy move using the Mosin as well. Interesting. <laughs> so random. Why? I guess you're probably doing sniper leveling or something. No fucking way. <laughs> I just I want his fucking vest. I love how I'm gonna negate all the time this dude spent. Censoring the swearing in this video with my own swearing. Okay. Doing some looting. Is there two? Oh, sorry. Yeah, like a hatchling guy ran, ran up to try and grab the gear before you. Uh... Oh, dude, if you didn't have to kill him, you would have had that one extra Bro. bullet, huh? Fucking hatchlings, eh? All right. Retreating to have a look at the old ammo situation and all that. Plenty of cover in this room. Nice. Doing a bit of inventory management. Respect. Be ready for when you need to go loot the juice. Definitely scavs on the map now. Definitely scavs. A lot more than scavs. You're still quite early and you haven't heard much other gunfire. There's definitely other players still in here with you. I'm assuming you really want to loot this guy because... Yeah, nades. Probably meds too, am I right? Oh no, you're doing okay for meds now. You got more pizza stuff. Oh, you brought lunch. Hell yeah, brother. All right. Gonna grab all the stims up. Turn this down a little bit. So, so far, not really much to critique. You could have maybe looked around a little bit more before you ran out and looted the other guy, but I mean, you were listening that whole time. You likely didn't hear anything. Fighting out there is sketch anyway. Even clearing, you can't even clear every angle before you, like, loot where you did, I, I feel like. It would take so long to loot, like, yeah. check all those angles, you know? Oh, shit. Hello? A YouTube? A hello? Well, there we go. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Now the quality is after shit in the bed. Um, 1080p. Let's get as much as we can out of this. Turning. It changes your sense. Okay. More juicy boys. That is for sure. Sounds like they're over by uh server room. Maybe up on the uh, the walkways. Okay. I appreciate your patience, man. I can't do shit like this, dude. I, I'm too impatient. Who are these guys fighting at? Way too patient, way too aggressive, way too impulsive. And it's dumb. Gets me killed all the time. 
Taking it nice and slow. Listen to everything that's going on around you. So far, so good. Clearing your angles. Obviously listening out. Taking your time creeping up on people. And considering you only came in here with a, an M1A with 20 rounds in it, it was going pretty good so far. You don't really stand to lose much here. You literally brought in an M1A with one mag and you've already had a massive come up. You could have just left and got pretty decent profit out of it, but I respect you staying. That's for sure. No lurk in your raid while I raid? I appreciate it, Astro. Good luck to you too as well, buddy. I feel like crouch peeking around here is kind of redundant. And also slow peeking stuff like this. I'd rather like jiggle peek this at walking speed instead of like crouch leaning around the corner just in case somebody heard the door open and they were holding the angle on you. Because if you come around that corner quite slowly the way you did, like, you could just get juaned. Because if somebody heard that or heard you step, you were screwed on that corner if there was somebody here. I like to just, like, aggressively yeah, peek dude, it no real quick. See if there's anyone there. If there's nobody there, you hanging out, buddy. then, um, move out then, of course. But, see, I feel like, uh, with that door after being opened, maybe they can't even tell where it is. Because the audio can be so hard to, like, you know, discern. From whatever direction it's coming from. Um, you did just hear a door close. So they are in server. That's for sure. They could be below in that little stairs room. With the little janitor's closet. It's so hard to tell man. The audio in this game is so janky. Playing the patient game though. I hope he walks through that door. And mows down a three man in one mag. That'd be so sick. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Uh... Oh, you still got him. You still got him. Dude. Was your gun on it single shot? Shooting. Oh, it stopped shooting. Oh, wreck. That happened to me a few times, man. That sucks. There's a few places where that's like happens. The bathroom below wooden bridge near red room those bathrooms down there Fuck this shit i'm out mm -mm. Fuck this shit i'm out no thanks don't <laughs> mind me i'ma just grab my stuff and leave excuse me please Fuck this shit i'm out no nope. Fuck this shit i'm out right, <laughs> i don't know what the fuck just happened but i don't really care i'ma get the fuck up out of here this shit i'm out <laughs> we're getting the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> swears all his swear words doesn't swear the fucks in the song <laughs> 10 out of 10 thank you for uh speeding up the part where you were uh you were looting and everything <laughs> pretty funny man <laughs> all right so looks like you cleared all those boys out grab that dude's gun which has a bravo and a pk06 on it i believe I think I saw it in the sped up footage. I have to send this one to Tweak for raid review. <laughs> this is a proper budget run. Hell yeah, man. That's how that, you do that. This this just goes to show you guys, you don't need like the nuttiest of loadouts to do well in labs. Does it give you an advantage to have a nutty loadout? Is it maybe more fun? I mean, maybe for some, yeah. But like, I try and tell people this shit all the time, man. Adars, Vepers, buy an Adar. Slap a PK06 on it. M995. <laughs> Vepers. Uh, BP. You know? Fuck it. Dude, M1A. Dirt cheap. You know? Maybe bring extra mags with you. <laughs> Maybe bringing extra mags is the play in most raids. I feel like you kind of lucked out on this one a little bit. Because having those, like only having 20 rounds really makes you pick your shots, man. 
But like this just goes to show that like budget runs are like definitely possible, like on budget gear, but do they work all the time? Ish, probably not. I mean, having uh you know, having armors, it's so fucking important in this game, man. Um But yeah, you did well with that M1A, that's for sure. God, that click though. You killed him with the nade though, so. <laughs> Little victory wiggle, I feel that. Be careful here though, sometimes when you push that button, raiders can spawn in that hallway. I, I just watch for that. Just for anybody who maybe didn't know that. They can push down through those double doors or come out from the other button room. Nice. G Good raid, my man. Fucking G, dude. Hell yeah. You deserve I'm it, man. Going back to my pizza. Take a drink, homie. God, oh, grab us. Grab a slice of your pizza, homie. Grab a goddamn slice of your pizza. But Spoolin, thank you very much for sending me in this raid, man. Uh, as per usual, lads, the link to his Twitch, the links to his Twitter, um, and whatever else he has listed in the description of this video will be in the description of this video. So, do me a favor, lads, if you've taken the time to watch this all the way through, please go give the man a follow. Follow him on Twitter, Twitch, whatever you can do. Um, it's the least you guys can do. He did send, he was kind enough to send me in the footage so I could make this episode a raid review. I would appreciate it. Um, really clean run, man. I'd say maybe just like, I, I know it's a budget run and all that, but like one extra mag. One extra mag, because like in some situations, man, just that one extra mag could do you really good. Um, also, wouldn't really worry too much about like that first guy looked like you shot him in the head. I think you might have hit him in the neck, but you know, it was you actually shot him in the chest. Um, wouldn't worry too much about that. The, the way you patiently played it, they actually couldn't figure out where you were for whatever reason. Your gun wasn't even suppressed. Um... And then the dude just ran into you. And then the other hatchling just ran into you. And then the other guy just sat on your nade. It was like, this was like God's gift of raids, man. This, this just worked out. Um, the only thing that I really have to say, I think, is um, the entire area you were fighting in. The fact that the one dude was up here was the only guy who showed up here. That's genuinely pretty lucky. Um, this whole area is a mess like most of the time it's just a complete mess um so like fighting here can be kind of eh, but like it worked out sometimes it does you know sometimes a lot of traffic doesn't come through here but uh there would just be one thing to keep an eye on you know like what angles can i be shot at from wherever i'm sitting but good raid man good sheet i wish you'd showed all the loot though fucker can i maybe pause it on a frame here just to show it all is there a chance both our webcams are going to block all the stuff anyway? Fuck this. Yeah, so M4. This is the M4 that that guy had. And then I believe you just hit green room in some of the other rooms and grabbed a bunch of stims and stuff. Um, He had gen 4. He had an airframe. Yeah, you made fat stacks out of that raid, man. Good shit. All right. Well, lads, that is going to conclude this episode of Raid Review. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If you guys have any raids of your own that you would like to have reviewed, join my Discord. It's in the description below. Discord.gg slash tweak. There is a section in there called Raid Review. I will accept your Twitch VODs, or Twitch highlights, I should say. YouTube videos. Don't send me Dropbox links. Don't send me links to other websites. I won't fucking use them, okay? Won't use them. Uh, Twitch, YouTube, that's it. Anything else will just be deleted. Uh, so save yourself the time and save my mods the effort of deleting your posts. Um, yeah, Twitch and YouTube. But lads, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out your boy Spoolin. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.